time in Israel's history, they were led by judges. These were people that listened to and spoke for God. Because during this time, God was truly their leader. He was the one directly giving them their rules and instructions through his judges. Now, during the time of the judges, we see over and over again a certain pattern come about. We see the people of Israel following God underneath the rule of the judge. Then, after the judge is gone, they stop listening to God. They began to do other things, turn away and worship false gods, and to forget the rules that God has for them. They stop serving him. Then, God punishes them. He brings bad things on their country in order to help remind them of the need that they have for God. Whenever the people finally repent, turn away from their evil ways and say that they're sorry, God saves them. He brings them out of their troubles again. We see this happen time and time again. Here, we're telling the story of Deborah, one of God's judges, the ruler over his people, as they are in trouble with another tribe. Let's see what happens. Again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Now that Ehud was dead, so the Lord sold them into the hands of Jabin, king of Canaan, who reigned in Hazor. Sisera, the commander of his army, was based in Harosheth Agoyim. Because he had 900 chariots fitted with iron and had cruelly oppressed the Israelites for 20 years, they cried to the Lord for help. Now Deborah, a prophet, the wife of Lapidoth, was leading Israel at the time. She held court under the palm of Deborah, between Ramah and Bethel, in the hill in the country of Ephraim, and the Israelites went up to her to have their disputes decided. Extra, extra! Read all about it! Canaanite army prepares for battle against Israel. What will be Israel's response? Yes? Why is it that you called me? Didn't the Lord tell you to go into battle? Well, but... But what if you would go? If you would go, then I will go. I will go with you, but the victory will not be yours. It will be given into the hands of a woman. So Barak went down Mount Tabor. His 10,000 men followed him. As Barak's men marched out, the Lord drove Sisera away from the field of battle. The Lord scattered all of Sisera's chariots. Barak's men struck down Sisera's army with their swords. Sisera got down from his chariot. He ran away on foot. Extra, extra! Read all about it! Canaanite commander killed by jail, wife of Eber. Israelite army is victorious! On that day, God brought Jabin under Israel's control. He was a king in Canaan. Israel's power grew stronger and stronger against King Jabin. The Israelites became so strong that they destroyed him. Here today, we learned about Barak and Deborah. Barak, the leader of the Lord's army, had been given specific instructions to go against this army. He was afraid, he was doubting what God had instructed him to do. He instead insisted again and again that the judge, Deborah, come with him. What we can learn from today's story is when God gives us specific instructions, we, he will give us the ability to do them. We don't need to doubt him. We don't need to kind of add things of our own into it or ask other people to join us with him. Just do what God says and he'll take care of the rest.